now in this lecture i'm going to show you how you can hash and secure this password field now let's suppose you fill your registration form with these details when you click on the submit let's say if i click on the send button i'm going to get the response back from the server but you can notice the password and the check password is completely visible anyone can read it anyone can steal this password so what i want i want to secure this password and convert this password into hash code so let me show you how you can do it i'm going to open the registration user controller and inside this i'm going to hash this password field so what i'm going to do is in this project i'm going to install a module called bcrypt and hash this password field so i'm going to open my terminal i'm going to open a new terminal and i'm going to first enter into my mon app and here i'm going to say npm i for install and then i'm going to specify a module called bcrypt make sure the spelling of this module is exactly same and then i'm going to install this module as dev dependency so i'm going to specify here hyphen capital d now bcrypt is a password hashing technique used to build password security it is used to protect the password from hacking attacks because of the password is stored in a scripted format we're going to convert the password into hash code so i'm going to install this module so i'm going to press here enter and install this module in my project once you've done that just close your terminal and at the top i'm going to just require that module so i'm going to say here constant bcrypt is equal to and then i'm going to require a module called bcrypt just like this so once you require this bcrypt just down here just after this validation just down here i'm going to just add a command and say hashing password let me just change this validation here i just check the password length is less than eight character here i use the password check variable instead of password check let me specify here just the password now just for that to hash the password just down here i'm going to call here bcrypt module and call a method of it which is hash sync this method is going to convert the password into hash value so inside the parentheses of this method i'm going to first specify my password field like this and then i'm going to specify the salt this parameter represents the salt round they actually mean the cost factor the cost factor control how much time is needed to calculate a single b script hash you don't have to worry about this second parameter you need to specify here some value i'm going to specify here 10 now this b script is going to return the hash value so i'm going to store that in a variable so let's create a variable here i'm going to create a constant variable hash is equal to and just for that once i have the hash value i'm going to specify that right here in the response so here i'm going to specify hash so instead of password i'm going to return this hash value let me save the changes and back to my postman testing tool and now let me just click on the send button and make a post request i'm going to use the same password and click on the send button you can notice now my password is converted into hash value now what i want i want to make this function completely asynchronous so before this parameter name here i'm going to call a keyword async like this and then before this bcrypt i'm going to specify await now let me save this file back to my postman testing tool and make this request again as you can see i'm going to have the same result now let me do the same thing inside this login controller but this time instead of converting this password we're going to compare this password with this register password hash value as you know when you specify login credential inside your login form we are going to compare your password with this register hash value so just down here just after this validation just down here i'm going to just create here a command and say compare the password and just down here i'm going to say constant is match is equal to that's upon you you can specify any variable name to this constant variable here i'm going to call bcrypt a module and then specify here a method called compare if you want you can call compare sync function as well that's upon you i'm going to simply use a compare method and inside this i'm going to simply specify my password so i'm going to specify here password variable this one which we're going to specify when we make this login post request and then i'm going to specify my register password as you know right up here let me just copy this hash value so i'm going to just copy this hash value right from here from this postman and 
just up here i'm going to create a variable constant variable user and specify that value just like this don't worry we're going to get this value from the database in the future lectures but just for now for the comparison i'm going to specify here this hash value and then specify here user as a second parameter like this and instead of this email and this password this time i'm going to specify here is match now let me just save the changes and let me show you what you're going to have inside this is match variable so if i just make a request on login route and if i specify here body with email and password like this and if i click on the send button as you can see inside this is match i'm going to get nothing because the reason is whenever you make a request on register route with values every time when you make a request it will return a new unique hash code that is why in the is match you will get empty string but when i connect my mongodb database with this project i'm going to store this password this exact password hash value inside a database and then we're going to compare the register and the input password value so once we create the mongodb so once we link the mongodb database i will show you how you can compare the password so just for now, I'm going to leave everything as it is. And in the next lecture, I'm going to show you how you can connect the MongoDB database with this project.